that's why she's here in Thailand now. I think that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks. In the white corner, Angela Chang from America. In the black corner, Vero Vo Rujarawong representing Myanmar. Of course, we've seen Vero fight here a couple of times. I believe three fights now. All victories. Yep. Two by knockout. It was her debut, her only fight that she didn't get a knockout. I believe her last two fights ended within the first 30 seconds. Yeah, she uh, she had a couple of fights, didn't she, didn't she against uh, Dan Kong Fa on, uh, is it Moi Hardcore or Super Champ? That's right, um, it was Moi Hardcore. And already starting with a bang, the fighter in the black corner from Myanmar, Vero. Angela Shang keeping oh. her guard up on the defensive. Looks like there's an issue with the right eye of Angela Chang already. Early on into the fight. Vero started very fast, very quick. Good overhand right there from Angela. That's what Vero always does. She wants to start the fight early, bringing that left way style to the Muay Thai ring here. Absolutely beautiful start already from Vero, already showing her opponent, Angela Chang, what she is made of. You can see their size difference, definitely. Definitely there. Good body shot there from Vero. She's work, been working hard at Tiger Muay Thai. And of course, Angela Chang training out of PK Sunshine Muay Thai gym. So both very big gyms. Very well-known gyms, of course. Good knees there from Vero. Pushing Angela back, being the aggressor. Angela trying to weather this storm early on. Angela Chang now trying to be the aggressor, trying to push forward, but getting pushed, kicked back by Vero. Getting attacked once again. It's not easy being on the offensive against Vero, because Vero doesn't like to be on the defensive. There's no way. Good knees though there from Angela, holding her own in the clinch. Watch the jab though, the left jab of Vero. Just setting up other things. There it is again. I think it's fair to say there that again. Angela Chang has already lasted longer than Vero's last two co opponents combined. Angela looking for that left hook. Good uppercut there from the fighter from Myanmar. She's definitely been working on a boxing. You, oh, definitely. You can see that, can't you? There it is, that left jab again, looking to dive in. Good left kick to the body also. Putting lots of things together and lots of different level changes by Vero. Oh, solid right shot to the body that time. It was a three-piece combination she threw also. But those hooks coming in from Vero look so dangerous and Angela Chang doing a good job of staying on her feet. Wow, incredibly quick. Chang survives though, end of round one. Perfection. Excellent execution, I think they say. Zero, stunning, great work, amazing boxing skills. Coming from all sides to attack Angela Chang. But fair play to Angela. You can just see that right eye there, Kevin. It's closing a little bit. Absolutely. Definitely caused by one of the hooks that, or one of the many hooks that Vera has thrown at first round. And it makes sense when you've got hands that are just covered in rope. Just her hands, her movement. She very sound offensively, but Vero also very and defensively sound as well. Just uses that left hand just to pour, pour her opponent away, and then she sets up something. Almost seems like it agitates Vero that Angela Chang is still on her feet. Angela Chang Good showing right that hand and a left kick there from Angela. Showing that she's no pushover, taking the fight to Vero in the second round. And looking for knees, trying to make this fight more dirty and frustrate. That was, that was quite interesting. Angela Chang went in and initiated the clinch and Vero wanted no part of it. Maybe that's what Angela Chang needs to do. Yeah, you can see Vero's trying to pour, like I said, with that left jab because she doesn't want that clinch. Angela, if she does want to get close though, you do risk getting caught with something and with Vero, it could be something big. Oh, and you see it. Vero can throw from short distance, long distance. She can throw from anywhere and you see her throwing some Vicious elbows as well. And that was what I mean. Angela just caught there with that left, that left hook. But she's in the clinch and she's throwing good knees to the body of Vero. Smart tactical play here from PK Sunshine. I believe that's exactly what Vero needs to nice do. Nice right shot. The clinch. Good body shot there. Oh, overhand left though from Vero. Better say it's a much better round from Angela Chang so far. Good low kick there from Angela. Angela just keeps on walking and something Vero's not used to. Her opponent's trying to walk her down. Very good block there from Angela Chang, and it seems like Vera has slowed down a little bit she now. Has. I was just about to say the same, yeah. She came out of the traps in the first round. Very quick, maybe she's gassed a little bit. 
definitely a very different fight when Vero doesn't have that power. And she's starting to swing and miss things that she wasn't doing in the first round. And here comes Angela. Good body kick there from Vero. But again, here we go in the clinch. Into the clinch once again. And, I, and from what I've seen, Angela Chang has the upper hand in the clinch. Very exciting fight now. And a round two. Well, a very interesting round indeed. The first round was clearly Vero showing off for everything that she's been learning at Tiger Muay Thai. But I've got to say that second round, Angela, I think she grinded out that round. I think she moved into the clinch. She did take a few shots from Vero, but she slowed Vero down. And Vero wasn't half as, as forceful as we saw in that opening round. And Angela did actually connect with a few good knee strikes. Maybe she took the round. We certainly think so, don't we? It could be honest. the case. It could be the case. Of course, on an official scorecard. Angela Chang might have got that second round. But of course, here in the third round, after a long break, maybe Vera will come out swinging. Well, and according to the unofficial Kevin and Aaron scorecard, it's one all, so win the round, win the fight. Yeah, it's very important now, this round, this third round here. And let's not forget, here in Thai Fight, there are no draws. Good right hand there from Angela. Good solid right kick to the body, though, from Vero. Maybe she took the second round off so she could explode out the traps in the third, because that's exactly what we're seeing right now, Kevin. Oh, absolutely. I've got to say, Angela, Lee's doing some, right? Angela Chang, excuse me, doing a very good job in the, on the defense there. I don't think I've seen Vero's offense not connecting as well as it usually does. Yeah, good solid strikes again there from Vero, and she was level changing like she was doing in the first round. Vero backing off. She doesn't want any part of that clinch, does she? No, absolutely not. She's just doing a very good job in that clinch. And I gotta say, no matter what the outcome of this fight is, we want to see a rematch either way. Angela, the only fighter, I believe, on Thai fight who has managed to walk down Vero. And maybe take a round. Oh, absolutely. Oh! Spinning technique just missing there from Vero. Angela Chang saw that coming. Good body strikes again, though, from Vero. I really like the way she punches to the body. You don't often see that in Muay Thai. It's very rare. Absolutely. I mean, Underutilized technique, a beautiful spinning back elbow, a back fist there. Did that connect flush? It was difficult to see from that angle. And taking the back of Vero. He's trying it once more. Good elbow there from Vero, but here comes Shat Angela once again. Maybe she's just run out of steam this time. I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, but on the left side of Angela Chang's body, <laughs> very red indeed. There's that spinning, spinning back fist once again. A right smile there from Angela as the third and final round is over. We will take it to the judges. A great fight. These females, they equip themselves well, showcase some great skills in all the facets of Muay Thai, including that clinch. We'll see what the judges say. Don't sit, sorry, stay with us here at Thai Fight. The winner is Vero Orujirawong from Vino! Congratulations to Vero who rejoined here at Dry Fight, still undefeated!